Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review Bioloom VR, a game released on the Steam Store today, December 2nd, 2021. For all the major VR headsets, it normally retails for 8 bucks. It's on a release sale 10% off. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program, and I tested it out on the Oculus Quest 2 and the HP Reverb G2. Bioloom is a underwater, sci-fi, narrative-driven, cinematic, on-rails experience. There is only a few interactions, and if I remember correctly, those interactions consist of pushing a button, using your flashlight, and grabbing a leaf from a plant. And other than that, you're just kind of propelling yourself forward on rails, So, Whole thing took me a little less than 30 minutes. Bioloom is basically an underwater mystery sci-fi thriller that's cinematic, so you just basically sit back and enjoy the visuals. You can play this seated, although I did Notice that I wasn't always centered correctly within the game. But like I said, you are on rails and during the movement you can recenter the camera if you look in the right direction. And if you're not centered correctly, you will notice that your head will clip through the roof of the underwater cave. Bioloom is running on the Unity engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting steady 90 frames per second on the Oculus Quest 2, but on Windows Mixed Reality, I was getting variable frame rates. And anywhere from 75 to 90. Unfortunately, there's not very many settings available in the options for this game. Overall, I will say that I did enjoy this experience, but it's not for everyone. Again, this is a mostly cinematic experience and there's only a few very basic interactions. This is a mostly passive experience where you just enjoy the narrative and the visuals. I did enjoy the story. It did go to an unexpected place. And the conclusion really did have me thinking on what exactly happened. I thought the voice actors did a great job and I thought the writing overall was pretty solid. The visuals and the sounds as well as the musical soundtrack all did come together to give a good cinematic sci-fi underwater thriller in VR. It is a little pricey at the $8 price point. However, I do think the production values here do match the price. This is a premium experience. Anyways, if I have to score it, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. I recommend it. I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get you up here quickly so we can analyze that kelp sample while it's still viable. And while I'm still alive? Oh, Rachel, please. It's a dead end. I, I thought you said there was an exit. Your suit is sensing currents around you. There must be a path that all these fish have followed. Eva, get me out of here! Keep calm, Rachel. Don't tell me to keep calm. I'm the... Oh. Oh. Event, I think. I saw something grab for me. Stop lying to me. What was that? Well, whatever it was, let's just focus on bringing you back to the surface. I've entered the water. I'm coming to get you. Something's approaching. Ah! Oh, my hand! Oh, it stings like hell. Something's leaching through. That's not possible. Your suit's completely impenetrable. Wait, is that a fang-toothed fish with wings? Kelp's grown out of its flanks, like new fins. Some kind of symbiosis, maybe. It's as if multiple species are fusing as one. 